Good book, defense. Yeah, I picked one or two Jeez. things here, man. Uh, the box are known for their defense, and that was superb. I know the Lions never missed a tackle, but I want you to have a look what happens here now. Uh, and if I can see this straight away, he's, uh, the, the catcher's got to look inside, and so Damien is cutting off. The play can't go wide. Now, right there, Lukey, brilliant 13. A 13 controls your defense. What does Lukey show on the far side? I'm fine, with uh, I'm fine this side. I've got it marked. Now, suddenly... On this side, and this is a planned defense side. The Jock Ninabar is brilliant with this. Have a look at what, what, what uh, Vincent Koch is doing. They change direction. I've got the guy if they come. So, so, so on the far side, we'll cut them off. We're happy this side. And now I want you to have a look what happens with the work rate of Damien there uh, after this one. You'll see now where's Damien now. Can we go back quickly, Robbie? I want to, I want to show the viewer where Damien was. And if you want to talk work rate and organizing the fence against a supposed to be very good attack. Can you go further back, Rob, with that machine of yours? Listen, RT is finding us wanting, yeah? Okay, but... That's why I've got this thing. If you, <laughs> you can show the whole clip again, yeah. because I need to show the work rate, yeah. Owen, of the box there, exactly what we want. Firstly, how, they, how Damien shut them off, so they got to attack inside. Secondly, how... How, how they controlled the numbers by, by good hand signals and communication. You'll see it there now. Look, the cutoff from the far side. So the only thing they can do is do what? Cut back in. So if they cut back in, play it on, Robbie. You'll see there now again. There, Lukey shows. In hey, the, guys. Now they've been around. Now they've been around. Yeah, but now, now have a look at Damien. Damien there's, around the back. there's Damien at the back now behind Franco Mostert. Now, now Vince is showing. They change. Have a look now what happens with Damien. Oh. He knows we're in trouble on the open side. Play it on, Rob. Yeah, it's going. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Doesn't matter, play will go blind, but now he's controlling the wide side. Yep. Why? Because Lukey showed him we've got the numbers this side. Now, for me, that's a, the, dating the chess on the defense side brilliantly. Okay, that's a good run from there, but look where's Damien now on the open side. A split second ago, he was still defending on the blind, and they control it. Now, suddenly, Malcolm realized they've, it's, a, it's a steal opportunity. We suck them in, they can't outflank us, and we poach. Man, oh man, how was that for defense organization? So for the Lions, they'll turn around and say, well, if we had a more powerful runner, like Falatar, got in an extra yard, half you guys are offside, they're on the front foot. Absolutely. If you, it's a mirror effect. If there's certain things how you can attack. Come a bit closer, uh, use the foot pass a bit more, uh, lull them into a false sense of security, but running more onto a playoff nine more. But for the attack that we got there, the box were well prepared for them defensively. And, and <clears throat> looking forward to the third test, it's going to be tough for the Lions to outplay them. If you look at what, what Damien did after Lucanio has put his hand up, you look, Damien could have stayed there. I mean, that's normally what players do. They hide behind the rock. He could have stayed there. So that's the work he, rate that you have. That is the work rate and, and the reaction speed and doing it for the team. He, you could see how he rust himself, Vili, how he rust himself, um, Faf. You, you could see it on all those players. All right, Kempo, what else are you coming up with? Well, British and Irish Lions, their attack. What are you guys picking up here? Okay, what I picked up here, now, in previous shows, I did show you the stack attack. Yes, the guys bound one another. But this time around, they, well, they took the direct route, didn't try to play around us because we're cutting them off. Now, this is planned. Back to Fuffy, a lankier guy against the short guy. What does Fuffy do? Otoja is right here on the tramps, but Fuffy has got his number. Pull him down there. And now, again, they recycle well. they well drilled. And I want you, what happens now, they're setting up phase after phase. They're yeah. using four guys on the ruck there, and suddenly we'll start dictating the numbers. So, again, we're not panicking. You'll see on the far side, they can't outflank. They can't go wide because we're taking that option. If it happens and they go wide, I want to show you the, the viewers something, how the inside guys can work. Bad tackle there, but now Vili has got a shadow. If he rushed up now, it was a three-on-one. He can't rush now. He's too late. So what read does he make? I've got to play full time, play full time until, until Franco Mostert covers. So, again, you want the, uh, the guys on the edge to shoot and to go. But if you make a bad read there like Vili did, just shadow. Play with him, play with him. The catch-up defenders will get there. You talk about Franco Mostert. Um, it's a lock. He just worked so hard on defense on the Amazing, inside. Eh? And he's going to, to, to do the, 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 the cover defense there. The work rate of the individuals, if you put it together with the effort on defense, you could see that these guys doesn't have a chance. I don't know what they're going to pull out of the... So, so 